welcome everybody to the knowledge series. We're going to be doing several articles and blogs and videos on these nine activities within Archibus. We believe that Archibus is a single platform that can actually take any disaster from beginning to end, from identification all the way through reoccupation of a site or a building. And uh, with that, I have with us the uh, Workplace Maven Alliance, which consists of Infinaris, uh, online FM, Robotech, CAD Solutions, IMS Consulting, RSC, and all five of us are certified Archibus business partners. So with that, we're going to go through this agenda. We're going to do some real quick introductions, uh, and then we'll go through the nine solutions, the action that can happen in that solution, and the name of the activity or module within Archibus that can solve it. With this, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself, and then we'll just pass it right on down the row. My name is Bob Steven. I am the CEO and owner of RSC out of the San Francisco Bay Area. We've been in business for 20 years doing Archibus installations and solutions. Hi, Dan Miller with IMS Consulting. Been a uh, business partner for the last uh, 10 years and uh, work mostly federal as well as commercial. Hi, I'm James Struccio. I've been an Archibus business partner since 1996, working primarily in state, local, federal government, but also nonprofit and corporate accounts. Hi, I'm Shlomo Maron, Robotech CAD Solution, DBA Robotech FM Solution. I'm working mainly in the New York, New Jersey area, implementing Archibus over 30 years in this area. Hi, I'm Rick Martin with Online FM. We're Advanced Value Added Reseller with Archibus and have been since 1993. We are located in Memphis, Tennessee and have offices in Kentucky and Vermont. This infographic shows us the nine modules or activities within Archibus that we believe can provide probably the only solution in the world that can take a disaster from beginning to end, uh, starting with one all the way through nine. Now, let's make sure we understand what our goals are here. We're not here to sell. We're here to help those who have Archibus or any of these activities or modules understand what they can use out of the box to help them with this pandemic or any other disaster that may come forward in the future and how those things can help. And to follow up on Bob's point of Archibus being the only solution, we're, our big focus, again, is trying to help you leverage technology you already have in place. As we go through these, if you see something that you don't currently have licensed, please, by all means, reach out to your Archibus business partner and engage with them to see if you can get that. One of the things we'll talk about is Archibus is offering a limited time free application that you'll hear through this. Reach out to your business partner if you haven't already been informed of this and see about getting that for you. So everything we talk about, you can do out of the box Archibus and your business partner will be happy to engage with you. Let me add something to uh, what James just said. If you use Archibus, you know well that your data is actually key for success on a day-to-day basis. And in, when crisis is effective, and this is what happens these days, the accuracy of your data, the cleanness of your data is a key to everything you do. We have many customers that are now going back to work, analyzing, cleaning up, looking at at their data granularly to see how they can create social distancing and other things to replan their coming back to workplace. So having one platform with all of these applications, all of them on a single database, and having this data is really key to overcome any of these disasters. I think that's one of the strengths of this IWMS system is that when you put an employee in the employees table, it crosses all 30 modules. We're only going to show nine here today, but all 30 modules that that employee is in a single source location and goes across the entire application, which I have found helps many of my clients save money, time, and it's very, very efficient to have those things tied together. The first thing in any pandemic is a report the incident. So we find out that someone has gone home because they're not feeling well, and we can report that and track that within Archibus. And we'll have a series later on where we will show how that's done. It goes anywhere from just reporting what happened, where it happened. It can go into what were the activities that were used to identify what whether they should go home, what the cause was, did they go to the hospital, what was the treatments afterwards. We can even track uh, and set a time for them to come back to work and where they would come back to work. The integration of the applications in Archibus and your data are actually key. When you report an accident using the environmental health and safety application, it goes across 
all modules. You have location to that person, you have a person that is doing the report, you have a group of people in a location that are affected, you may have assets involved, you may have work orders involved. So here everything plays together on a single database with a single interface to help you cope with all the above. And this is a great example of Archibus as an organization stepping up through the COVID-19 pandemic. With this application currently being free to any customer that is current on their software subscription, the hope is that you'd be able to use this to help you track any COVID incidents. But think about it from a bigger picture of once COVID's behind us, hopefully sooner rather than later, you'll then still have this environmental health and safety application, which is one of the most powerful, robust applications within the Archibus suite of applications to use for other incident tracking. So we would encourage you to make sure you get this free application while you can and leverage it, not just through the follow through of the pandemic, but moving forward as you manage your organization and your space. In addition to incident tracking, you can also track response such as personal property equipment, as well as training that needs to be issued and completed by your employees to confirm that the response to any incident or to this uh, any incident within this pandemic is handled appropriately. The second module that uh, we'd like to highlight here is the building operations module, where in the environmental health and safety is connected directly so that on the uh, reporting of the incident, a work request can be automatically routed to a craftsperson to come and clean an area, repair an area, disinfect an area, and it goes absolutely through the Archibus workflow rules and can be escalated depending on its cause types or its uh, problem types. So in other words, if the problem type is of a life safety issue, the service level agreement can quickly get that request into a craftsperson's hand and bypass all approvals and estimates, and that person could be there within minutes or hours and be dealing with the uh, repair or disinfecting of the area. Something that often gets lost in on-demand work and corrective maintenance within Archibus is everyone has to enter a problem type to create a work request, but the follow-up side of that is the repair type and the cause code that are entered on the back end. Something that you can definitely leverage within that is the cause code. While you are you might have something that, that COVID-19 caused, like you have to go clean up something or disinfect an area because of COVID-19, you don't want to add that as a problem type necessarily, but you do want to be able to report after the fact on how many work requested we have where we that were triggered by something having to do with COVID-19. So you can easily add that to your cause type table. And now that's the cause type for the work request. So now while it was a cleanup or disinfection or something, you now can ask eight months, how many work requests do we have that were caused because of a COVID-19 related issue? What if I don't have the building operations application? I use space. I have my CAD drawings, I have my point lines, my spaces, employees, but I don't have the building application. So, of course, everything will work better if you build applications one on top of the other because every one that you add is exponentially giving you higher benefit of the data that you already have. So, think about adding it, but even if you don't and you use another building operations or CMMS, application, it can be integrated with the Archibus data in a way that data can be exchanged both ways between the applications. One underutilized area of building operations within Archibus are the reference documents. So as you have certain types of problems that are related to disinfecting or related to the current pandemic, you can have reference documents that are automatically associated with your work orders. So as someone goes out to clean an infected area, they have a reliable standard procedure for cleaning infected areas. Using the preventive maintenance application, users can create location-based PM procedures to ensure that all locations are cleaned on a routine basis and that you have a record of those cleanings to keep the workspace disinfected. 
One of the things that RSC has been doing for about 15 years now is helping our clients track remote employees. Prior to the pandemic, I would say that some of our clients have anywhere from 2 to 20% of their staff actually working from home or from another location that is small enough that it's not tracked by AutoCAD drawings. And we like to use the emergency preparedness module with the contingent locations, which is actually in the employees table, to show both the primary location and the contingent location. And when the contingent location is filled in with the home city and state, we can now create some tracking reports to understand how many people in California are working remotely from home, how many people in San Francisco or the Bay Area are working from home, what cities are they in. I can then make some strategic decisions around that. And then talking to Shlomo's point earlier, if you don't own emergency preparedness, there's other ways that we can track remote. The space inventory module, we've been able to do that in a couple of ways. We create a building that's remote, floor is the state, and a room is the city. And then I can track how many people are in the in city. And there's multiple ways to do that. And we have another article coming out on that. So stay tuned for that. Or you can use the room categories, types, or standards to track remote locations if you don't have the emergency preparedness module. One additional benefit of emergency preparedness is the ability to issue bulletins to alert employees or contractors of certain conditions, maybe when buildings are coming back online. It can be used as a messaging tool in addition to a tracking tool for your organization. Emergency preparedness can also be used for other types of disasters. You may have to evacuate the building and Emergency preparedness gives you the view that allows you to account for people and might they still be in the building. The Enterprise Asset Management module is is actually a very deep and wide application. And for remote employees, this module can be used to track, do they have an ergo chair at home? Do they even have a desk at home? Are they working on their couch or on their bed or are they kitchen table? And the asset tracking module, we can determine whether I had to order a monitor for them. Do they have webcams? Do they have the proper microphones? This also helps you collect the assets should the person move on to another job outside the organization. And you can also check to see things so they have proper Wi-Fi. I think that's a great point, Bob, with the equipment. And did we have to buy anything for them for their home? Something you can also do if you're tracking your furniture within Archibus Asset Management. Can you Do you have surplus that maybe you can send home to employees? So being able to keep track of what you have and where it is in your organization, if it's available, maybe you can save money while at the same time getting stuff out of surplus to be able to help employees as they work from home. Um, in the compliance management module for COVID-19, you could send surveys out and see if people are conforming to your company's desired remote or home office setup. One of the things, I'm going to start at the bottom bullet, which is, you know, do they have the proper software? Are they connected to the proper servers? Do they have the tools they need to complete their work while they're working at home? I'm identifying internet security. We During the COVID-19, six weeks ago, a large company that we consult with sent people home to find out that they couldn't work from home because their single sign-on was tied to IP addresses and their home IP addresses were not there. So we had to change our security settings to allow people to work from home. So part of what could happen here is instructions or surveys that go out. But you can also determine like if the people are going to work from home on a long-term basis, which we're talking about, are they set up ergonomically? We don't want them hurt. We know that we'd spend a lot of energy and time in the office, but let's make sure that at home they have a set of instructions through a survey that can make sure that they've got their desk set up right, their chair set up right, their eyes are looking at the monitor at the right angle, they're taking proper breaks, and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, Bob, you bring up a great point there, and I so often find that we make a lot of assumptions, even as our company has a remote workforce, we assume that they have things, but Archibus takes the assumption out of it and helps you have the things in place to know. We don't have to assume because we, everyone took a survey and we know exactly what they need now. So no longer do we need to assume Archibus helps us know the facts and have them in one place so everybody has access to them that needs access to them. The flexibility in the compliance management application for creating your own surveys, including all the questions and responses that are applicable to each question in each survey is really one of the main benefits of the compliance management application. Once a survey is created, being able to assign those surveys based on geographic location or based on affiliation with a certain organization. These surveys then go out, be completed, and then you can view summary reports to see how different responses were, were answered.
So one of the things that's really on everyone's mind now is how do we redesign our space? And in the strategic space planning module within Archibus, you can do what are called trial layers or scenario planning. So let's say that you want to have a strict floor plate where the six foot distancing, physical distancing is in place. That may require you to modify your modular furniture, do tenant improvements to the floor, and the strategic space planning module through the trial layers allow you in AutoCAD to re stack your floor while keeping your inventory in place. Inventory is what I mean by the existing floor plate. And then when you come up with the multiple plans, you can choose the best one. And then there is a simple switch that allows you to take the plan you chose and make it inventory. And then you can move it on down the road into making moves and bringing people back into this new redesigned space. It also lets you forecast space for growth. Certain departments may be increasing and you may know that and want to forecast that growth and do some archivist has some tools to allow you to graphically do stacking but not only might you forecast increased growth but based on what we've been discussing so far people working at home and maybe continuing to work at home it will also allow you to to forecast decreased headcount in your areas which would allow you to then graphically block and redesign your space drag departments from one floor into another and consolidate space, which may help you determine leases that you can not renew, consolidate satellite offices into your headquarters building. Having the uh, strategic space planning application is, is actually a great bonus. However, your real data, really important part of your data is actually in your space management applications and the occupancy and the allocations and the chargeback. So if you do have good drawings, and good database and space, you have actually mastered already 80% of the requirements for going back to work, even without the strategic space planning. Social distancing, for example, you can just go to your drawings and create circles around areas or around desks to keep at least six feet away from each other, mark bad seats, good seats, get away with all the Agile spaces, if you have any. We have a few clients that uh, went heavily into agile spaces. Now, and this COVID-19 time zone, uh, they are getting away with that. They're not doing it anymore. But each person will have a seat with a name because we don't want different people to sit on one seat. So getting back to work is really the hottest subject right now, at least in this area, New York, New Jersey, and almost every uh, client, every Archibus user is working these days on analyzing space, marking drawings, uh, creating reports, go back to do restacking with the business managers and wait for day one when it's all released and all restrictions are released and people are getting back to work. As your organization looks to plan out future space usage based on new requirements, or distancing. The strategic space planning application allows an organization to identify those space requirements by either number of people or by square footage or by types of rooms and can then run scenarios based on those space requirements to help you identify over the next two, three, five years based on your space requirements and your hiring plans. Is your real estate portfolio going to be able to support your organization or do you need to add space? Can you reduce space and save costs with more people work from home? Does that provide an opportunity for you to reduce your portfolio? The strategic space planning scenarios help identify how you're going to support your space requirements over the next three to five years. That's a great point, Dan. Something also to consider is organizations sometimes have mixed use spaces that oftentimes gets overlooked, but say you've got a warehouse space that also has room in it that you could put temporary workstations in and the warehouse is only used two months out of the year. So what can you do with the other with the space in the other 10 months? Perhaps you can use it, start building out space in their temporary space and the, during the two months where the warehouse is needed, those employees can work from home or do work sharing in different spaces. But can you start leveraging different types of space within your organization you haven't leveraged before? Strategic space planning can help you plan for that and look at the scenarios. James and Dan, you raised the excellent point. I hear a lot from customers about the fact that 
even when we get back to work, it will probably not get back to normal or what we used to call normal. The new normal is probably going to be very different workspace and workplace and real estate portfolio with all the people that will probably remain working at home. I don't know how many square footages will be cut from corporate real estate, and that may even have a trickle effect on commercial real estate. So it is a really good point to stop thinking about this now and continuously. And this application is excellent for that. I think one of the great modules that are going to come forward here in the next little while is a portfolio management and other things in the real property lease management domain. We've been hearing that companies are going to do anywhere from 10 to 50 and even in some cases 60% reduction in returning to work. In other words, 60% of the people will work remotely. And so identifying which buildings are office space and which buildings are sales offices and which buildings are manufacturing is found in the portfolio management module on the dashboard. And you can quickly identify the square footage, who's sitting in what building, uh, and then determine which buildings you can either reduce the footprint on or, re or actually reduce the building altogether. You can determine if you're going to sublease it, if you're going to sell it, if you're going to reconfigure it or repurpose the square footage. So the portfolio management module, I think, is one of the best modules that will be coming out here in the short term. Real estate is typically the second biggest expense for an organization after payroll and after employees. So for especially large land holding organizations, they need to be able to see how they can reduce their costs moving forward, especially if less people are coming to work, despite the fact that those people might need more space between them. So as they need to identify those space requirements is also how much money they could save. Tools like the Global Portfolio Dashboard that summarizes your real estate and lease costs by geographic or by uh, types of buildings like office space or warehousing. Using those in combination with cost reporting that's available within the solution, it's easy to start to see in the out years how much money could be saved when your real estate portfolio footprint is reduced. Another thing that tends to get overlooked in Archibus is the metrics framework. So the flexibility with an Archibus allows you to create your own metrics to start building your own what if scenarios to see what if we were to eliminate these buildings. You could definitely leverage the Archibus metrics framework to be able to start helping you with those what if scenarios. So one of the great additions to Archibus about a decade ago was the project management module. And uh, many people thought that the project management module was a replacement for Microsoft Project. And while the project management module has the capabilities that Microsoft Project has, it actually has two or three other areas in it that make it a lot more robust than uh, Microsoft Project. And those are that you can actually set up bid packages and send them out to contractors. So should the COVID-19 require you to do tenant improvements to your buildings or make changes in configurations, you can send this out to bid. You can collect the bids. You can analyze the bids. You can select either low bidder or more qualified bidder. You can then track the work in the uh, Gantt charts and in the schedules. And those costs are then rolled up and you can just totally manage from the beginning of a inception of these tenant improvements all the way through to the completion and reoccupation. Project management shares uh, information with capital budgeting application within Archivist as well. So as you are going through the process of identifying a project, you are doing the detailed analysis and building out tasks, milestones, the team that's going to be supporting it, the costs associated, both the initial baseline costs and then the design costs as you then go through the approval and execution of a project. All that information can be tied back to a capital budget so that as you are identifying projects that need to be completed, especially those that might have high priority because they're related to the current pandemic, the application can help you identify those things that need to be handled first and the costs associated with them and how much budget then you would have remaining to tackle other projects. Another good integration point within the system is Archibus's ability to bring condition assessment projects in as well. So as you survey your facilities and you find deficiencies or issues that need to be resolved, and they may be related to the pandemic, they may not, but they can be bundled up into a project as well, go through the same budgeting process and then be approved and executed through completion using the project management application.
Dan, you bring up a great point with project management and the assessment side. Something also that Archibus has is not just the condition assessment piece, but the environmental sustainability assessment and the clean building. So those are also opportunities you have to leverage the existing framework of Archibus to track incidents that might be related to COVID, might be related to something else that's not necessarily building equipment specific, but location specific, and roll up into project management. As we talked in the very beginning of this, Archibus being a single platform with 30 plus applications, they all communicate within each other. There's so many other applications out on the market that can do multiple things, but they're doing it because they're integrating or connecting with other tools. Archibus is a one-stop shop for all intents and purposes that is one platform, multiple tools that communicate natively within itself. One of the biggest questions is how am I going to get back into my space? And this actually is probably where we're going to start with our next series of articles is how do you reoccupy your space? And the Enterprise Move Management Module, as well as other modules such as hoteling or reservations or maybe even restacking can help you to bring your staff back to your buildings. There's lots of thoughts around this. Like instead of reconfiguring my space, maybe I schedule my moves back. In other words, every third desk comes back on Monday. Monday, the second desk come back on Wednesday and the third desk come back on Friday and that's the schedule for the next year until this pandemic is, is worked out or do I do a quilt or do I do a, a, a distancing but the enterprise move management module allows you to create uh, different move-ins uh, so that you can create that safe space in between individuals very good point, Bob. Most of the customers that I speak with in our area are talking about 25%, 50% on day one coming back to work. So in any case, it should be some kind of a phased approach and getting back to work with the move module is really making your life much easier. It allows you to create move one by one or group moves and uh, it's all recorded in tickets and scheduled, coordinating all the groups involved in moves. So this is a perfect tool. As we talk about reoccupying the space, those organizations that have Archivist reservations can leverage the arrangement set up and tear down time within each room to be able to say, we need a 30 minute window at the end of a, every reservation blocked out for disinfection or cleaning of the space. So Archivist allows you to put those times in without even having to really change much of your process and can then tie to work orders to the housekeeping team to go disinfect the room as soon as the meeting's over. So it makes it impossible for someone to be in a room within 30 minutes of another group being in there, so there is time to clean that. From the hoteling perspective, hoteling application with an Archibus will allow you to stagger your hoteling workstations. So say you've got a bank of 10 drop-in workstations that are shared spaces. Maybe you alternate each, every other workstation is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you have that forced gap in between space so you can let Archibus help you manage the social distancing in your shared workspaces. Tying back into the work that you may have already done in the strategic space planning application, as you work through scenarios of how your space will look when you reoccupy your buildings, you can take a scenario and you can migrate it into a move management project. So as you evaluate different solutions for your space, when you find the one that works and you want to execute, you can click a button and turn that then into an enterprise move management project where you can then take it through the process of then the very detailed approach of putting people in their spaces, maybe as I said before, whether quilting, whether putting people in new arrangements because the floor plan has changed and you might be using project management to execute then the new floor plan before people reoccupy. This move management can then take all that planning you've previously done and help you execute that plan to make sure your reoccupying of your space is a smooth process. That's a great point, Dan. The uh, mobile framework uh, runs across most of the modules, most of the applications of Archibus, including space management, move management, building operations. And this is an essential tool at these times when you know people need to run around and verify who is sitting where, creating surveys, verifying location of people, verifying good desks versus inhabitable desks. So the mobile framework is uh, something that if you have, will help you a lot. 
Thanks, everyone. I mean, it, this has been just a huge amount of information, very exciting and very timely. I just want to reiterate, this is not a sales call. We're basically trying to help those who have Archibus to be able to use the application that they have through this pandemic. Everything that we're going to be showing you in the series going to be going forward is going to be commercial off the shelf. We're not going to show any customizations. We're going to use the application as it's delivered, and hopefully you'll find some things that you can use to move forward with the actions necessary to overcome this pandemic. Yeah, thanks again for watching and listening to us. Something that, that hit me as we were going through making this series is between the five of us in this panel, we have about 150 years experience deploying Archibus and working in facilities management. And if we sound excited about Archibus, it's because we're excited about facilities management and we're excited about the tools that can be leveraged to help organizations manage their space. So thanks for being a part of this and allowing us to be a part of your day-to-day.